Sponsored by K-12, the cool school that comes to you. Log on to k12.com for more info. Tonight on K-PAL, we're wondering why kids are so busy after school. What kind of movies are people into? Now from Camp Pally, California, K-PAL News. Hey there, I'm Barbara from K-PAL News. Have you ever wondered what goes down during kids' after-school lives? Let's go check it out with Brianna and Bailey over in the field. Hi, I'm Bailey. And I'm Brianna. And we're here to talk to some kids about their busy lives. Okay. You get up. Children today um, have very busy lives. Aside going to school, there's always extra curriculum. Well, I go to school at 8 05, I wake up at 7 30 in the morning. Then after school around 3 o'clock, I go home, eat a snack. 3 15, I leave for religious school. Great. I had sports practice basically every day after school, and then I'd have play rehearsal after that, and then I try to squeeze in guitar lessons now and then. Uh, these kids have either sports teams, tutoring, baseball, soccer, uh, flag football. I get picked up early from religious school at 5.30 to go to football practice. I play tackle football, so I'm there till 8 o'clock. Now it's a lot less busy since there's no sports. It's just guitar lessons and sometimes play rehearsal if I'm involved in any of that. And a lot of PSAT practice classes and I try and fit my homework somewhere in there. Um, kids days are definitely busier from when I was a kid, more structured activities. When I was a kid I just had chores and homework to do after school and then I would go out and play until the sun went down. Then I eat dinner and then I go to bed around 12 o'clock, 1 a.m. Sometimes I watch a little bit of TV and I repeat the cycle all over again. I don't think that they are really able to be kids like we were able to do when we were younger. We're in a very fast pace these days and I think that children and parents as well, we all need to slow down. It's Brianna and Bailey. Back, Back to you at the studio. Thanks girls. So, what's the hottest teen movie pick this summer? Let's go find out with JoJo and Nick in the field. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Nick. And we want to find out what kids really want to watch for movies. Was that your feet? Get smart. Get smart. Why? Because it's it's amazing. I mean, Anne Hathaway is like my favorite actor ever, and she's amazing. It was just like really funny, and Steve Carell was like the best. How do I know you're not control? If I were control, you'd already be dead. If you were control, you'd already be dead. Neither of us is dead, so I'm obviously not from control. That actually makes sense. Steve Carell's just like a big goofball, and he's like really funny in that movie, so dumb. I set that up. Kung Fu Panda! And yours? Kung Fu Panda. Why'd you like it so much? I loved that because it was full of action and comedy. It was just amazing. Don't tell Monkey. It was like one of the funniest movies of the year, and I love how they would always like comment on his weight and stuff. So I'm still digesting, so my kung fu might not be as good as later on. Don't mess with the Zohan, because it's really funny. He's Zohan. Kind of shows how the fighting with Israel and Palestine is completely pointless. I wanted to leave the army. What will you do? I want to cut and style hair. <laughs> uh, my favorite movie is probably Shaun of the Dead because it's funny and it has no meaning and that's my type of movies. My favorite movie was 21 because the whole point of Blackjack was really fascinating and how they tried to cheat to get some money to pay for a scholarship at college. Nine plus fifteen. Can't wait to check out those movies. Yeah, no, especially I really want to check out Get Smart. No way, Kung Fu Panda. No, Get Smart. Kung Fu Panda. How about check out both of those? All right. Well, I'm Jordan. And I'm Nick. So back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys. Well, that's it for K-PAL News. Go to www.kpalonline.com for more info.
I'm Barbara. Good night.